What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and today I'm going to be showcasing a super useful tool that I've created. Now, hopefully, you give it a shot. Some EA have recently added their subscription service to Steam, EA Play. Basically, you pay a flat fee and you get access to a whole bunch of EA games on Steam. Simply heading to your store, followed by subscriptions and EA Play you'll see a whole bunch of games that you can simply add to your library and start playing immediately. Now, of course, I've added most of these to my library, so they appear over here. But something rather annoying about EA Play is after you pay for your subscription, it doesn't automatically put all of the games from this list over here into your actual library, so you aren't able to install them or even know what you have access to without clicking the Play Now button on the Steam Store. Now that's incredibly annoying to someone like me, as for when I pay for something, I'd like to make sure that I'm receiving everything. The same is true for these 10 hour trials over here. It only shows two of them, but the third one that you get is Star Wars Squadrons. And you wouldn't exactly know that that's included with EA Play on Steam unless you go and search for it on the Steam store. With all that aside, that's incredibly annoying and it should really be something that just appears in your Steam library once you pay for EA Play. But with all of that aside, I've created a really simple tool that's easy to use that has all of the EA Play games listed out on this web page over here. You simply uncheck what you already have installed as at the very bottom over here, you download a little script that opens up each of the games on this page at least once. Basically, I've created a tool over here that works very similar to that Play Now button. These are all of the games supported by EA Play on Steam currently, and these are the ones that you get for free when you pay for an EA Play subscription. The same with the trials down here. These need to be added to your account first before you can start playing them. To do that, you'd click the Play Now button on the Steam Store. Basically, this website over here has a list of all of them and checkboxes next to them. If I have a look at my Steam library, sort by installed, you'll see all of the EA Play games that are currently installed. Battlefield 1, Bad Company 2, Hardline 5, Need for Speed Heat, and Titanfall 2. Basically, I'll check what EA Play games I already have installed, and then I'll have a look at the list over here and simply uncheck them. Basically, what this website does is it generates a little script that you can open on your Windows, Mac, or Linux PC, and it basically tries to start each and every game that you have checked at least once with a one second interval between them, which of course you can customize over here. This is the same as visiting all of those Steam pages and clicking the Play Now button. It'll go through all of the games that you have checked and basically click the Play Now button until it reaches the last one. Then you can simply cancel out of the install dialog and you'll see all of the EA Play games in your Steam library over here. This way you can simply search for them without having to go to the Steam store first and taking a guess at what games you actually have access to. So with that all aside, how exactly does it work? Well, as I mentioned, simply visit the website and uncheck the EA Play games you already have installed after making sure you have a subscription. After doing that, simply scroll down and click Download Bat for Windows if you're on Windows, then Keep, or click Download SH if you're on Linux or Mac. It just changes the script a little bit to work better with those platforms. Then once it's done downloading, simply click on it to open it up. You can see it in action when you click on it. I'll bring across Steam over here and I'll click on the EA Play batch file. As you can see, a black window appears and it slowly ticks through this little progress bar at the top, opening each and every game's install dialog one at a time with a one second interval. I'm going to let this run all the way through to completion. And once this is done, we'll see all of the EA Play games on my Steam account over here in the library section. That makes launching them up and downloading them incredibly easy. You don't have to visit the store first at all. Just note that you're not getting anything free. You're not breaking the system. All that it's doing is once you've paid for an EA Play subscription, it's asking them all to quote unquote play and they get added to your Steam account. When it's done, simply click cancel on the last one and they should all appear in your Steam over here. Now, of course, my number will be different to yours as I already own some of the EA Play games, as you can see, Crisis and Crisis 3. But if I search for it, I also have Crisis 2 on my Steam account. Hence, I'm missing some games from this EA Play subscription dynamic collection over here. But with all that aside, I've done some customization to this website, which again is linked in the description down below since last night. Why do I mention this? Well, I got a friend of mine to live stream himself using the software through Discord. And I'll be showing you that in just a second so you can see what it looks like adding all of these games to an account that's just paid for EA Play and has only added a couple of games. So you'll see them all appear. The only issue about the video that you're seeing on screen right now is that there wasn't a delay in between adding games and it opened them all up in really quick succession. This meant that some of the games didn't quote unquote open properly, so they were missed out. Running the script multiple times 
is safe and something we tried to add the rest of the games. But now that I've added a delay in between everyone, it'll take a second per game to add them to your Steam account, or at least try to. And when it's done, everything should be added without skipping anything. If something was skipped, you can simply uncheck the ones that are currently in your account, download it again, and open it up. You can of course open it up multiple times and it'll run through everything. If it missed out on anything, it'll try and add it back. But now that I've added a delay, I'm sure that won't be an issue. So of course, it's a super simple project for something that should be included on Steam by default. When you pay for EA Play, all of the games should automatically be added to your Steam account without question and you simply see them in your library. Having to go to the Steam store and click play now under every single game is rather annoying, especially because of this annoying little feature over here. When you hover over the play now button, it's eclipsed by a preview of the game itself. So where this play now button is for me would be an add now button or something like that for an account that's just paid for EA Play. That's incredibly annoying as when you try to click it, you can't click it because this window pops up above it. It's incredibly annoying and something my friend, who I showed you the video of, had a serious issue with. He would have had to visit each and every individual page and then click play now down here to add them to his account. This tool made it a lot simpler. On top of that, you might have actually missed adding some of the EA Play games to your account if you've done this already manually. This should add the rest of them if you didn't know they were there. It also has these games down here, which are the trial games. Star Wars Squadrons, Madden NFL, and FIFA. If I have a look at my Steam account and search for Star Wars, you'll see it over here. It says remaining 10 hours. By using the script to quote unquote play it and add it to your account, it simply just adds it to the screen over here and doesn't actually start the trial. As far as I know, the trial only ticks down while you're playing the actual game itself. So you'd have to install it and start playing it for this timer to progress. The final little note that I have is this box over here is the contents of the file that you're actually downloading. If you're curious about how things work, you can click keep, open up the folder, right click on the file itself, and then click edit. This way, it opens up a notepad file and you see the contents of the script. This over here is exactly what it shows you on the web page. These are the commands that are run in your command prompt one after the other. If you're curious about what this line is, well, this line is simply just adding a star to this simple progress bar that I have, and then waits a full second before adding the next game. That's all that this line does. This line over here, start, steam, run, followed by a game ID, is a command to start a game. This is very similar to how games open when you create a desktop shortcut for one. I'll simply make one here now. Add desktop shortcut, right click on it, properties. You can see the launch command is steam run game ID, followed by the game ID. You can just have run instead of run game ID. It's the same, but it's different. And the final little note that I have to add to this is this is a manual page that I've manually added all of these games to. In the future, it will go out of date as more games are added to the EA Play subscription on Steam. I'll try and keep this up to date and I'll add a date somewhere on this page so you can see the last time it was updated. Make sure to leave your comments down below on any suggestions, improvements, etc. if you'd like to see any. And again, the link is down below. Hopefully you find some use out of this. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.